Hello and welcome back. In this, in this example, we're going to go through and solve this differential equation. And again, this is actually a Calculus 1 course, so the idea is just to use simple indefinite integration to get our answers. More complex methods, of course, will be discussed in a differential equations class. So the idea here is that if you've got the derivative dy dx, or y prime in that case, the integral will just give you the original function y back again. So y of x is going to be the integral of this 2 times the cosine of x with respect to x. And again, being in the very beginning stages of finding antiderivatives or indefinite integrals, we just have the power rule and our basic properties of just the derivatives written in reverse. So therefore, you have to ask yourself, what function has a derivative that is the cosine of x? And we know that is the function sine of x. And we have a multiply constant, too. So that constant 2 is carried along. The antiderivative is going to be sine of x. And we've got our arbitrary constant c. Now, in our problem, we actually want to find the value of c that will give us a negative 2 when we evaluate our function at pi. So to do so, we go through and we evaluate at pi. So y of pi is 2 times the sine of pi plus c. And that must equal negative 2. Well, the sine of pi is just 0. So this first term drops out, and we get c is equal to negative 2. And that is our arbitrary constant. So our solution, then, is y of x is 2 times the sine of x minus 2. And again, this function right here now satisfies two conditions. It has a derivative that is equal to... 2 times the cosine of x, and it will also give you the value of negative 2 when you evaluate it at pi. And therefore, we have the solution of this differential equation. Again, our text calls this the particular solution, but in differential equations, you'll actually call this the solution of the initial value problem.